Mass funerals are being held today as the nation of Sri Lanka mourns. Easter Sunday saw bomb attacks at hotels and churches where congregants gathered. More than 300 have been killed, including 22 children from one congregation alone, and 500 were wounded. Canadian Rachel Mork was in Sri Lanka when the bombs went off. She joins us now. Rachel, thanks so much for joining us. Hello, you're welcome. Yes. You were within two kilometers of the bomb going off. Tell me about the sequence of events that unfolded when that happened. Yeah, certainly. So I had heard it, but at that time did not know what it was. And so continued um, about my day as normal, um, just touring around the city and later ran into some uh, other foreigners who notified me of um, the news that they had heard, um, to which I checked um, and found out that, yes, indeed, there had been a bomb that went off. And so quickly made my way back to the safety of the hotel. And when you got to the hotel, of course, they advised you to leave the country. So what happened next? Uh, so I actually had a message from a friend who advised me to quickly get to the airport um, before a uh, curfew or anything else escalated. So I quickly packed up and made my way to the airport through the traffic um, and through the yeah, security measures that were already being put in place and um, got to the airport safe and sound and then waited out 10 plus hours before my evening flight. <laughs> And it was just after you left that they found another bomb at the airport, which they were able to defuse. What was your thoughts during that time? Were you praying? Were you scared? Were you, you know, worried about what's happening there? Uh, definitely kind of all of the above. Definitely um, praying for the country, praying for um, the people, for the Christians there, um, praying for peace, um, not knowing what this meant for the future of the country, but also for my immediate future too, and praying that my um, I was able to send a message to a few of my family members and praying that the rest would be able to uh, find out that I am okay and to continue to pray yeah, for those who have been affected and for those who've lost loved ones. What do you think, um, I, I know that you do a lot of work in development around the world, what do you think that we should be praying for the nation of Sri Lanka right now? Yeah, definitely, definitely pray for uh, encouragement for the Christians that are there. Please continue to pray for just them to really lean into God during this time. Um, pray for uh, peace, peace in the country. Um, the country uh, is in a, in a bit of a crisis right now and um, just peace amongst um, all the people there. Um, and then pray for, yeah, the, that um, people you. would really seek God in this time. Thank you. Yeah, that's absolutely the things that are on our heart. Thanks so much for joining us. We're so glad that you are safe. And uh, I know that that nation is going to be on a road to healing for a long time. Thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye.